Westmoreland Speedway was nearly reconfigured until they ran out of supplies early. It has a great history in the Reebok Cup Series with one race that had a great duel between the 99 of Carl Edwards and the 20 of Matt Kenseth. Edwards is on the pole for today, and next to him is Brad Keselowski, who's having a great starting spot in each of these races. Denny Hamlin and Greg Biffle, they were nearly battling for the win last race at Phoenix when the two of them got together and Denny Hamlin snuck away with the win. Starting deep in the field today is Dale Earnhardt Jr. He's had a pretty dismal season, and he looks to uh, make it better here at Westmoreland. Now let's take a look at your starting lineup. Starting in row one, we have the 99 of Carl Edwards and the two car of Brad Keselowski. Rolling out the field today in row two, we have the five car of Casey Kane and the 18 car of Kyle Busch. Starting in row three, we have the 15 of Clint Boyer and the 11 of Denny Hamlin. Starting off the field in row four, we have the 16 of Greg Biffle and the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And rolling off in row five, we have the 14 of Tony Stewart and the 9 car of Marcus Ambrose. And rolling off today in row six, we have the 48 of Jimmy Johnson and the 20 car of Matt Kenseth. And in row 7, we have the 22 of Joey Logano and the 56 car of Martin Truex Jr. And rolling out the field in row 8, we have the Stuart Haas teammates of Ryan Newman in the 39 and Danica Patrick in the 10. And in row 9, we have the Hendrick teammates of Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the 88 and Jeff Gordon in the 24. Rolling off in row 10, we have the 42 of Juan Pablo Montoya and the 43 of Eric Almarola. And rounding out the field in row 11, we have the 1 car of Jamie McMurray. The field's coming to the green flag. We're green flag racing here at Westmoreland. Carl Edwards gets a good jump on the restart. Then Keselowski gets a great run on the outside to take the lead. Keselowski leads the first lap here at Westmoreland. And we've got a crash. Huge crash. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. up and over. Marcus Ambrose involved. Jimmy Johnson down the pits. And oh, Hamlin is not happy with Greg Biffle. Here's what happened last week. Here at Phoenix, Biffle got turned by... Hamlin coming to the checkered flag as Keselowski gets a great jump on the restart. Kane's going to clear Edwards for second. It's now Cowboys going to go for three at 30. Third as Kenseth gets loose. Lap four underway now. Keselowski has opened up a sizable lead on Casey Kane now. Coming on to lap five. Kane closes to his spot. We've got a huge crash in turn three. Ryan Newman gets turned around by Dale Hart Jr. And the caution is out for the second time. Huge crash. A bunch of cars involved. Both Ganassi teammates taking out at the same time. We're going to go back on our way now with five laps to go. Here's Hamlin on the inside, battling with Kane for second. And while Keselowski leads, here comes Kane on the outside. Can he get a run on him? Four laps to go. Casey Kane takes the lead here. Keselowski is looking for a way around him. Just three laps to go here in Westmoreland. Can Keselowski get around him? He's looking. He just doesn't have the room. Casey Kane takes is holding on the lead here with two laps to go. Greg Biffle pushing his way into the picture. Coming to the white flag this time. Can Keselowski take the lead? White flag. Does Keselowski have enough left? Can he make a move around Casey Kane? Three and four. Contact! And Casey Kane goes around. And Casey Kane wins the Westmoreland 500 at the Westmoreland Speedway. Casey Kane gets his first victory of the season after coming so close at Bristol. Keen Industry 5 wins this race by a close march and over the two car of LJ Mills. Garrett Sinner finishes second with Alan Cavagnero last week's winner fourth. Mark Cavagnero finishes fifth in the 99 after starting on the pole. He won the 99 won here in season one. Jason Tross finishes eighth. Johnny Mills ninth. Nick Corwin tenth. Derek Van Assen the 48 eleventh. That's a great rebound that he needed. Ralph Sinner also 14th. He. He picked up a few spots after his dismal finish last seat, last race. Ian Dunham finishes 17th this race. He finished in the top five at Bristol, but now he's starting to fall. Both the Ganassi cars finished deep in the field as Matt Damon finishes dead last. That'll hurt him in this championship as Alan Cavagnero is still on top of the standings by two points over Keenan Street 5, who has a two-point advantage on LJ Mills, who again has a two-point advantage on Garrett Sidner. We have a tie for the last chase spot between Sterling Lynch and Mark Cavagnero. Lynch has it because of the tie record. He won at Bristol. Austin Nathan falls in the points. Matt Damon falls all the way to 10th. Matthew Fuller picks up a few spots and goes to 9th. Johnny Mills to 13th, Ian Dunn to 14th, and in 15th is the 17th of Carter Fargo. Ralph Sinner picks up a few spots. Matt Benass falls again. Not a good season so far for the Ganassi cars, neither for the 43. And we'll see you next time from Watkins Glen.